hey besties welcome back to my youtube channel is dio ayo here today's topic is going to be on my experience in camp i have people telling me d you didn't tell us about this part of camp uh you guys are just acting like this thing is all fun and stuff like that but to be very honest it's an experience i want everyone to gain i don't know if it's overrated or underrated but experience actually differs so you going by yourself you're going to know if it's actually underrated or overrated in my own words i actually enjoyed camp i enjoyed camp to the fullest like i was a free bird so i enjoyed camp and i had to just play and laugh about everything that was the best way to survive in camp so yeah let's get started camp starts on a wednesday and ends on a tuesday now before camp starts your posting letter is going to be out posting letter comes out um, some days before camp i think it's a recent development because i heard that previously it used to be like a week before camp but now it's like some days before camp to be very honest people that are going to be sent to the north that live in the south some people are going to cry some people are going to be mad it's going to be a sad time yeah and then some people that are sent to the south from the north are going to also feel a certain kind of way it's just a normal experience or it's just a normal feeling but over time you're going to feel better so yeah you go to camp on wednesday and people come to camp on thursday and then friday is the swearing in i did not go to camp on wednesday thursday or friday because of some complications so i went to camp on a saturday yeah did i regret going to camp on a saturday i don't know what to say but it looks like i actually regret going to camp on a saturday or on that saturday i feel like i would have stayed at home a bit longer because people came after one week i don't know if they were questioned but a whole lot of people came to camp after a week some people came after a week and so yeah so i'm going to attach the video of the things that are required for you to take to camp or you can just check through my videos and you're going to see it yes yeah. so when you get to camp from the gates i would advise that you just wear something casual something you can easily walk with something that's going to give you a swift and brisk movement you get so you don't act like you're being cajoled to do a certain thing so just dress casually you can just wear a shirt or a polo and a trouser and a sneakers or a slippers it depends on what you want but a casual out outfit is going to be of importance to you so they set you at the gate and take the things you're supposed to um, and they give you the things you're supposed to take to camp or to stay in the premises and then they see some certain things from you if you're in possession of weed drugs hard drugs whatever it's called if you're in possession of um cutlery set the fuck and the knife they're going to seize it from you i don't know what other things that they seize because i can only say for the fuck because mine was seized at the gate and then at that same gate they're going to tell you to put on your waist pouch so yeah you put on your waist pouch and now it begins you start going from table to table first i said medicals they checked my medicals and then they approved and then they checked other documents so after that they are going to give you a sleep that shows the hostel you're in and then you can go get your bed please get good bed don't oh, get bed that is very flat and getting a good bed is one of the advantage of going to camp early and actually getting a good space people that are actually down bunk enjoyed why put that up i don't know what to say but yeah it is what it is so after that period when you settled in like drop your things it is important to go for your clearance that's the things or your documentation i don't know what it's called i don't know the particular name for it but yeah you need to go for, i think it's documentation and yeah thank you to margaret margaret charles joy charles and everyone that put me through this whole camp experience because they just seem to fool my body but then again i'm very grateful to you all so you finish dressing your bed get your bed space drop your things please always lock your box and then you proceed to doing other things that was how i did mine so i'm telling you from my own experience you proceed with your file that has your documents to do your documentation from this table to this table that is where you get your state code it's usually four numbers so the last number is your platoon number my platoon was platoon six so every activity is going to be like platoon six if you're sitting sitting at remember platoon six to be precise i camped in river state noah bamtai ogoni land batch a stream two yeah <laughs> yeah so after you're done with your um documentation 
please be ready because that thing takes a whole lot of time you're not the only person doing your documentation and then it's usually worse when you go the first three days because the line is so going to be long everybody wants to do their documentation now it's not just you so you can have like you can be number 400 and something you will cry <laughs> you will feel tired and all this shit but it's just going to pass away so when you're done with your documentation the last thing for your documentation is the opening of the bank when you're done opening the bank like you feel the whole bank details and all those things attached and you've written your name in the book of life the book of life is before the bank stuff yeah after the book of life then the bank stuff when you've written your name in the book of life and the whole bank stuff i get your bank yeah now the whole camp experience starts i went on a saturday so we actually dived into socials now don't forget that friday is swearing in for those people that are going to go early i don't know if to advise you to go early or to go late if you want a good space please go early if you want good foam that your back will not pain you go early if not you're going to actually suffer some so, some consequences of going late yeah now when you go to camp at first you're going to be very grumpy you're going to meet new people you're going to be grumpy so you just try to be free but please set your boundaries set your boundaries boundaries are very important first three days are going to feel like hell just give yourself three days and you feel comfortable you feel a bit okay if you don't feel comfortable after three days it's between you and your god though because i normally take three days as the mask of pain like after three days i should feel better i should be able to navigate this so after three days you should be able to navigate it so yeah in the morning as you're sleeping you don't know that people are waking up by three we are still sleeping <laughs> people have already woken up and they're actually taking their baths people that have water in their hostels are batting white people that do not have are going to fetch water so people fetch the night before yeah it's also necessary to buy your buckets like i said i'm going to attach the video or you can just search on um you can just search my videos for the video so it's very necessary to fetch your water in night before yeah so you don't get stranded so by 3 a.m. in the morning, as you're sleeping, you're just hearing people, ah, ah, things are just shaking here. When you wake up, you see that people have actually gone to take their bath and people are actually ready for, for um, morning meditation. Yeah, I think that's what we call it. So you have to join them. Please be, be smart, be swift. So yeah, you take your bath by 3. Some people wake up before 3 and take their bath. But I know that 3 is the standard time because by 4.30 a.m., the beagle is going to blow. How does it blow the beagle? I remember that song because I was traumatized. Ba -na -ba -na -ba -na -na -na. <laughs> so I'm going to attach it to this video. <laughs> the beagle is really blown by the military personnel there, and everybody has to, like, you have to start going to the assembly ground or the parade ground rather yeah the parade ground you have to start going to the parade ground yeah when you get there you guys are not going to start the whole morning assembly or meditation they're going to read every platoon has their topics this platoon can have humility this platoon can have um i don't know what else again i can't remember integrity and all those things so every day a platoon is going to speak like a representative from a platoon is going to speak and then we also have a representative or representative from a particular platoon that is going to do the whole good morning jesus good morning lord and all this things. and i don't know for the muslim part because i'm not a muslim but i know that muslims you know because they usually used to have jazz wherever um i think in the mosque yeah that's where they usually pray i don't know yeah it should be in the mosque because they're always there now it gets to a time where you have to wait for nigeria to wake up you have to wait for Nigeria to wake up. That's by six o'clock. Everywhere goes quiet. That's when Nigeria wakes up. So they are still going to blow the beagle. I can't remember the particular sound, but they'll blow the beagle and everybody has to stop what they're doing. So Nigeria is waking up and Nigerians in Nigeria are waking up. So it's very, very annoying, but you just have to like stand and all those things. If you're sitting there, you stand. What's it blows? Like when they blow that beagle for Nigeria to wake up, anything you're doing, you just have to stand. Yeah. And then you wanna have some money lessons like from people from nd leab whatever they call it people from all those things, national orientation agency it depends but you guys are just going to have like 
few minutes you can also have language classes yeah because i know they taught us query they taught us calabari and some other things in the morning you know, you'll be standing and god help you that those military personnel that are assigned to you guys camp or to the camp where you fall under they are very mean because you cannot squat you cannot sit on the floor with your white and white and your white sneakers that's what you're going to wear travel camp apart from when you're going for man or drill which is your khaki and when um what else and maybe sunday service here some camps actually sunday they wear their bubble gown wear their casual outfit to church and all those things but once is um for when it's time for parade everybody goes back to white and white yeah so when that is actually done when the whole meditation and the waking up of nigeria and the whole um money lecture is done now what follows is the man who drill I'm a fucking baller, he got all in me. He got all in me. He got all in me. And parade. So that morning you're going to be marching. You march, 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 march. But they still they select um certain people that are going to march on the on the it's not the final day precisely the last week because the people that are selected in each platoon like if you're representing your platoon you guys everybody's going to the 10 platoons are going to match and now they're going to remove some platoons and stuff like that so i think you just have like how many platoons that will now match on that deal day <laughs> From eight till nine, yeah, you have the liberty to eat and do other things. Go to the hotel and do other things. Some people go to the hotel to sleep. Some people go to sweep. I could not wrap my head on the fact that so after I finish doing parade, now me I will not go and be sweeping the hotel because people refuse to pay money. God, thank you that my hotel people were very accommodating and all of us were like, oh, we are not doing this. So we paid the cleaners. We had contributions and then we paid the cleaners. And the cleaners actually clean for us on certain days so that actually is the stress all we just had to do after parade is to go and find what to eat you go to my market some people eat their provisions that one is your own cup of tea and then after that period now saeed starts that's the worst of it all saeed you are going to cry because <laughs> because those military people are mean they might not let you make use of your phone saeed is a skill acquisition something something I can't remember. I think skill acquisition, educational development. I don't know. Skill acquisition, entrepreneurial development. I don't know. Skill acquisition, entrepreneurship development. I swear, I don't know. But I'm going to find out the meaning and attach it. It's basically where you learn different skills. And then you can have lectures in between too. Yeah, Said is very, very long. There are some times that you're going to have combined Said. And then there are some times where they will divide you according to what you choose that you want to um, develop your skills on. Actually, it was in photography and videography. Yeah, so actually um, had my own phone and took pictures. And some people had to take pictures. I mean, I was very happy that I thought people had to take pictures and use the panel part of an iPhone. I know most of you don't know what is this for. <laughs> but yeah, I was happy that I did that. So Said is usually very long. Please find a partner. You cannot do this counting on your own. You are going to feel like you're running mad. So please find a partner. Because you need someone that you're going to sit with. Someone that you're going to just with. Because you cannot sleep. These soldiers are not letting you sleep. They're not letting you press your phone. What else are you supposed to do with your life? If they're not letting you sleep. If they're not letting you press your phone. What else are you going to do? Just going to be there for five hours. Listen to boring topics. To be very honest. Said is very, very boring very very boring five hours of your life is just there even me as a law graduate i didn't sit for five hours in a class to learn <laughs> maximum is two hours so sitting for one particular thing for five hours can actually drive you nuts and try to sneak in or go in with snacks or food so you can munch or something and always carry your water because you're going to be thirsty that way you cannot even debate it but in my own um orientation camp um that's noah bamtai they did not always allow us carrying in juice or drink, so we used to actually sneak it in. And yeah, 
phone and stuff like that, but you're not allowed to use your phone and you're not allowed to sleep. If they see you sleeping, they're going to video you. They'll put you on the big projector or the big screen, whichever you guys are using. Or sometimes you just see yourself online or the soldiers are just making fun of you, but you cannot sleep. Or they'll parade you. You walk. You and your group of people that are sleeping, you walk and stop looking for other people that are sleeping that are going to replace you. So that's how it is. Said is very boring. Take it from me. So you have to be prepared for it. And Said is like almost... Said should be every day, if not almost every day. And after Said, when you guys are done with the whole Said thing, now you can go have your lunch and then your siesta and everybody comes out for parade by... Yeah, I think it should be by 4. Yeah, you come out for parade by 4 p.m. And you're going to do the parade. Parade is March pass, basically. Sisters and eyes! Right! Una come out to... Parade starts from 4 to 6. Now, in between that 4 to 6, subsequently, they'll start adding, like, sports. You can have, like, um, volleyball, volleyball, football, for different platoons and all those things. And then during that period, too, now, manual drills are going to start for each platoon. I never got to do manual drills because I went late, so I do not have the khaki. So there's no way for me to do manual drills. You actually have to be on your khaki and your jungle boot. And... When they later gave me the khaki, that was like close to a week later. We are many that did not have like we we're many that did not have khaki because we came late. So when they later gave me, I did not just feel like doing anything. That's a whole NYC kit. I did not just feel like doing anything anymore. So I'm like, my platoon has already done. What's the need? And people that I went to do with other platoons, I don't know how they felt, but I didn't think I was going to feel good. And also, I didn't want to do when other people were now doing later that's people that do not have at all that they just gave i didn't want to do with them so i'm like let that just pass so that's like four to six it could be it could be volleyball parade race Football, anything can be happening, but parade must actually go on while other things are going on. And then just know that they're going to select people that are going to represent your platoon. So when they select people that are going to represent your platoon, the remaining people that are not representing your platoon for the match party, people are going to be sitting under the sun. So going to, hopefully, or oh, luckily, those people that sell food will actually help you guys with some snacks, like sell some snacks to you guys. Those people that walk around the camp, it might be very beneficial to you. So that's what you do from four to six. Now, from 6 to 7.30, it's actually 6 to 8, but because I start blowing the pan, nam -pa -pan, pan, nam -pa -pan, pan, 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 I mean, that's traumatized me, so I don't know if I got it, but yeah, from that 6 to 7.30, you have other things to do, so you can do your laundry, me, I just used to say my things to the laundry, you can do your laundry, you can bath, you can make your calls, you can, um, um, do anything basically take your bath whatever you want to do normally i just take my things to the laundry then i take my bath i usually used to fetch water and keep under my bunk two but two buckets of water precisely so i don't get stranded and then by 7 30 the beagle goes again i can never forget it because it traumatized me so i'm just going to attach the sound to this video so yeah when the beagle um goes that's by 7 30 just know that eight o'clock is social so that 7 30 is very much to assemble so socials can start and then
creeps into your personal time. So she's supposed to end by um so she's supposed to end by nine and then from nine till like ten o'clock you can do what you want to do. But then so she creeps in into your personal time most times. So you can end by nine thirty sometime, nine fifteen and then you have to struggle to get your food, try to get your things from the whole charging arena, the mommy market and and all those things yeah so it could be very annoying when social creeps into your personal time this night it was almost lights out and then people started leaving the hall gradually and the soldiers found out and the camp coordinator so everywhere was just tensed and they're like if anybody passes this place they're going to slap somebody or something i think a guy passed and they slapped a female soldier slapped the guy and the guy slapped her back so all of us were made to sit down outside for a period of time. Nobody was allowed to go to mommy market to get their phones or eat. So straight to the hostel, everybody. That's what happened that night. That's why we're seven punishments. We stayed at like after 10 or so. Because by 9.30, the beagle goes again for lights out, which is by 10 o'clock. So by 10 o'clock, anybody's light that is on, Wherever your source of light is coming from, it can actually be seized by soldiers. So you have to be careful. And then by 10 o'clock, believe me, people used to serve punishment. If you go to the parade ground and can sit down, you sit on the grass. There was a particular hostel in my orientation camp that actually used to serve punishment. Boys hostel. They even became very familiar with the soldier. If they don't serve punishment, they did. Soldiers will ask, what's going on? I push up a fine. So yeah, they always used to like self punishment. Boys used to. I know it can never be girls because girls would find it's you that was making that. But yeah, it was normal with boys. They were always seven punishment. So yeah, that's ten o'clock. So basically, it's just rinse and repeat. Now, Saturdays and Sundays are usually different because you can do what you like till like four, yeah, and you can wear what you want. It depends on where you are because you no know, abam tie, you wear your white and white throughout. So you can do what you want to do till like four, but four parade. So Bigo goes by 3.30. So everybody goes to the parade ground and parade. Same with Sundays. So those are like the free days you have. And then on Friday, you're going to thank Muslims because they're going to give you free time because of their prayer. So once it's 12, most times, or once it's 12, every time, side rounds up, yeah, for them to go say their prayer. So you're going to be like, oh God, thank you for these Muslims. They don't just give us public holidays, but they help us for side. You're going to feel that way and then again what other thing are you going to experience um just let camp pass through and also pass through camp it is very necessary and don't be rude to the soldiers it's not necessary to be rude to them because these people are going to help you in one way or the other in the sense that you might be like okay you go late for a particular thing because of you they can release everybody i was friends with camp commandant i was also friends with some soldiers and also you can be eating at the big Google's and they can give you some time because here yeah, you have a personal relationship with them i'm not saying you should go and do anything with them i'm just saying like how far now what's up like just know them know the names of the vendors because sometimes you can be doing you can be very busy and then you know that you're not going to meet up with maybe lunch time or something so you can just call them and be like please help me keep food and very good i can just get your food so that's for that and then again let's nyc pass through like i've said try to be involved in activities to be sincere i did not do anything but then you have like band you have red cross if you join red cross you escape parade let me tell you you have obs obs is the live broadcast radio station and camp that make the calls and all those things so if you join those people those people actually get good pps but they they, they can misbehave because very soon they'll start saying oh it's full they are complete no there's no space and stuff like that Wow. Medicals, yeah, you can join medicals if you're under the medical profession. So yeah, if you're going to work your redeployment or relocation, please do it in camp. Because once you come out from camp, you're going to sweat. Like the possibility of even the whole process working is very low, so you're going to sweat. And what else? Again, try to mingle with people, establish good relationship. Your parents, your mommy did not tell you to go there and go and marry. Don't go and follow one boy. <laughs> don't go follow one boy to the end of camp oh. <laughs> don't go and do that have fun mingle with people talk to people don't misbehave just have fun just it's camp there's no need to be rude 
you're just be there for three weeks so have fun and then eat good food you cannot be suffering and not eating good food at least try and eat good food so your head will not be fatter than your body eat good food because your head you will become so lean and dark so you need to eat good food so you don't suffer so much and what else are you supposed to know about camp let me think let me think take pictures don't forget to take pictures where this country is going for the next thing they say you do not go for your wise camp take pictures of people take pictures of things that you're doing in camp store it in your iCloud storage or photo storage it might be very beneficial 20 years later or 15 years later or 10 years later so please take pictures have memories take pictures take videos store them somewhere so when somebody say you know go for camp you say i went for camp this was my platoon leader this was my platoon officer these are people that were in my orientation camp these are pictures of me in camp this was me doing this in camp so yeah necessary to take pictures and then don't forget to take your transport allowance and your bicycle allowance it's very necessary that money that you think is small can actually buy you food in camp and actually do your laundry and don't forget your allowance now this is a mistake most of us made so we got our allowance i was april may set so we got our allowance like may yeah we're very very happy hey allowance has come like before we left camp so we're thinking that that allowance was for april my people is not for april that allowance is for me that would be of me so if you go and use it thinking that you get allowance in may you will not get anything you're going to sweat so you have to like use your head because your next allowance is in june for people that will be depending on allowance so don't forget to prepare your mind for a routine and also carry a culture where you're going to have cultural day so it's necessary to carry a cultural wear and yeah i do not go with one you can just go with something simple you're not going to wear your edo tribe attire or something just some ankara gown that is simple so wear a bubble gown now why i'm telling you to just go with it is because you actually pay for material and sewing because you have to look like your platoon people you guys have to look uniformed so um yeah uniformity basically is the key to your platoon or whatever so you guys are going to have cultural events different events on that cultural day after then you switch back to your white and white but then i did not have cultural wear i paid i paid for sewing i paid for material i didn't get anything i was very pissed at the point i was like i'm going to the hostel but thank of my camp best is Kale. that's like let's go to my market and see what we can get and then we bought a gown and we had to like pay money to reshaping and resale and all those shit i don't think you want to go through that but then again when you go to camp you can actually buy those gowns those simple gowns at least buy one so in case they want to disrupt your whole experience in camp and just make you feel a certain way you still have like something to wear yeah and then be friends with soldiers like i've said camp commandants might be helpful to you camp commandant can help change your ppa yeah and towards the end of camp the last week before camp you're going to have so many activities so many activities big bold and beautiful <laughs> Mr. Macho, Mr. and Mrs. NYC, all those things. I think Mr. Mr. and Mrs. NYC thing has Macho too, yeah. So you're going to have all those things. So just get ready for different events. And at the point, side is going to be like over. Side is not going to work till the end of camp. So side is going to be over. And on the day of going home, that was so horrific to me because I woke up by two. Why were people awake by why two people were awake? I woke up by two. I saw people arranging their things, but I slept. and woke up by two, and then I took my bath and everything. And I took my my box to uh, my friend's aunt's house and the premises. Yeah, because she's an NYC official. I took my things there, and I don't know how ants entered our khaki. Ah, that money was hell, and that money they will not blow the bigu early, but I was used to hearing the bigu, so I was traumatized. Nothing was blowing. I could not hear. Like you, I'm not yelling. It was blowing in my head. I kept on asking people. I can hear the bigo. Can I hear the, like if that thing was running mad. I'm like, no, no, no. This is going to traumatize me. And just know that once you come out from from camp, and just know that once you come out from camp, the first three, the first three days, or the first one week, you're going to be waking up by three, whatever time you wake up in camp. That's how you're just be waking up. So I know at this point you can tell that my whole camp experience is actually a beautiful one to me. And yeah i actually enjoyed every bit of it and i didn't talk about the food aspect wherever 
you hear you can go and eat or do everything just know that yeah at that point the bill will go for lunch breakfast or dinner whatever it is and you go with your meal ticket to the dining and get your food with your flax you're going to be eating from my market i basically ate from my market i only took like sunday rice and bread and tea once and i regret never taking that bread and tea because the tea was rubbish here yeah, but the sunday rice was okay but majority of times i had my meals in my meal market This is how the last day of camp is going to look like. Um, you wake up in the morning. I bet you that you're going to see people awake by two. Me, I woke up by two. People were awake by twelve because I woke up by twelve and I stopped taking their bath, packing, and all those things. While I slept and woke up again by two. So you're going to see a lot of people doing that. And after everything, um, what else are you going to see? Yeah, so at that point, people start cleaning your hostels and stacking up the forms. You guys might have a place to stack up all your forms. The forms are stacked up in my room. So yeah, stack up all the forms and all those things. <laughs> Leave me alone. And then, <laughs> set the rest. And when you guys are done with that one, go to money market to eat. Basically, it's just going to be so relaxed and... People even my market will bring out the table everywhere. It's just going to be fun. Everybody's just going to be happy, and everybody then proceeds to the parade ground. You actually take your box out of the hostel to a designated place for you all, and what else? Yeah, go to the parade ground, and the people that are supposed to march that they will march. <laughs> that's like everything after the match passed you will not be assigned or giving your ppa letters and nasty boss is going to this lg to that lg you can go home book your boat do whatever you want to do but vacate the premises and that's how nyc camp is thank you for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and share with someone that will be going for the nyc orientation camp I see you guys later if you have any question ask in the comment section and i'm going to reply you thank you guys bye